Was it? Did they not hear any of that? No, no, they heard. <laughs> it's kind of weird because I feel like I'm talking to myself because I'm like sitting here and just. I kind of wish I could see you. We'll do that next time. Um, but when I curl my hair, I, you know how there's the curling iron barrel like this, and you can either like go like this and then wrap it up, or you can. What I do is I take the curling iron barrel and I wrap my hair around it. That's how you get it to look spirally. Um, I'm 37 year old mom of three. We all love you, me and my boys. Hi, thank you. Um, I'm just reading questions. How, how do you do your makeup? I should get makeup out and start doing a makeup tutorial. Um, for makeup, I like to um, make, you know, some people like like a really natural look on eyes, and I do that sometimes, but for like award shows and stuff, I really like to have that, um, that like accentuated eyeliner line and then the crease up there, see? Um, and it's, it's just kind of, it makes your eyes pop a little bit more, and um, I never was into blush before, but I got this really cool blush from MAC yesterday that was really awesome, so I've been using that lately. Um, congrats on the CMA's performance, thank you so much. It was so crazy because there were all these dancers, and it was just so wonderful to, to do all the performing, and also we rehearsed that performance a lot. and. Um, went to this rehearsal space and had tape on the floor for where the castle was and where the stage was and we practiced the reveal about 400 million times until we knew it was going to be right. The reveal where the one dress came off and you saw the other dress and it was really fun. My husband says hi, he just got home from Iraq, he's in the Marine Corps, come to Canada. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Tell him I said thank you for everything. These are coming in kind of slow. Oh, these are coming in faster. I'm gonna be... Where's your tour start next year? Next year, um, the beginning of the year, I'm going back over to the UK, and then I'm going to Australia, and then I'm going to Japan, and then um, in May, we start the headlining tour, and I'm really excited because Kelly Pickler's coming on the road with me. We're gonna have sleepovers and paint our nails every night. And it's going to be really, really fun. Um, I'm trying to read these. How did you like your surprises on the Ellen Show? The surprises on the Ellen Show were absolutely unbelievable. She flew in my best friend, who I hadn't seen in so long, and then um, Justin Timberlake came out. And she also surprised me with Patrick Dempsey. It was unbelievable. He walked into my dressing room and asked me to sign his CD. It was the craziest thing on the planet. And I started crying, and um, I was just very embarrassing. But he was really cool and so sweet. And um, one really cool thing about him is that he, um, he introduced himself like we didn't know who he was. He was like, you know, he came up to my mom, and he was like, hi, I'm Patrick. And I was like, how nice is he? Like, it just, it's really cool, because of course we knew who he was, but he didn't just assume. How did me and Kelly become so close? We were on tour um, with, with Brad Paisley, and um, it was so much fun. The tour was a blast, and just right at the beginning of the tour, I remember I saw her sitting at the side of the stage on one of the speakers watching Brad's show, and I just walked up and sat down next to her and introduced myself, and we started talking, and we became fast friends after that and just completely clicked. She is the funniest person on the planet and she just absolutely makes me keep it real. You know, she's just so blunt about things. She's like, you don't need to be doing that, you need to be doing that. And she just, you know, it's, it's really cool to have people around you that aren't going to tell you only what you want to hear. Um, am I watching Grey's Anatomy tonight? Oh, I have to watch Grey's Anatomy tonight. Thank you for reminding me. Is this my house? Yeah, this is my house. Um, and this, so the, the, the triple platinum plaque is, is behind me. Um, and I'm in the room with like the CMA award and the CMT award. This is like the, the award room. Who is Steven? <laughs> 
You have to, uh, there are little clues inside the lyrics in the album that you can probably find out who Steven is. Um, how do I write my songs? You know, I'll get a phrase that'll pop into my head and I won't be able to finish what I'm doing without going and recording it. Because if you don't record it, you'll probably lose it. You know, there's always that moment where um, you learn your lesson where in the middle of the night I'll get this idea that pops in my head and I'll think, oh, I'll just remember that tomorrow. I don't need to record it. Then it's completely gone the next day. So I record everything. What's my favorite song on the album? I absolutely, it changes every day depending on what I'm going through and depending on, um, you know, what someone has told me is their favorite song. I'll go listen to it again. Right now I think it's White Horse though. Because I'm really, I'm really proud of the line, um, to St. Hollywood, this is a small town. Can you please say hi to me? Ah, why is that moving wrong? Um, when am I coming to North Carolina? Probably on the summer tour. Oh, you like 15? Thank you. Um. Hi, Tanya. Oh, this is moving really fast. Oh, the song 15, I, uh, I wrote that about my ninth grade year, and there was just so much that I learned that year. There were so many lessons, you know. I, um, I had my first boyfriend ever when I was 15, and I wrote all about that, and met my best friend Abigail when I was 15, and we've been best friends ever since. And I just think that you learn so much about who you are when you're trying to be somebody else, when you're trying to be cool, when you're trying to fit in. You learn, sometimes you learn who you are and you learn who you're not, and uh, I just wanted to write a song about that, and I'm glad you like it. Hi, Tabby. Hi, Laura. Hi, Savannah. Ooh. Ooh, it's moving fast. <laughs> Whoa, it's moving fast now. Um, ooh, it's moving fast. I can't, I can't read it. It's going so fast. Um, what song do I sing in the shower? I sing... Um, I sing You're So Vain by Carly Simon and Hot and Cold by Katy Perry. Um, my cat. Do we have the cat? Is my cat in here? Well, the dog's here. Bug! My dog. I'll introduce you to my dog. This is my dog. And he rules. And his um, back legs are like a lot longer than his front legs, so he's a little lopsided. And <laughs> we bought him. Um, ooh, I need a battery charger for my camp, my computer. There we go. That's better. Um, we got Bug when um, we were in L.A. when I was 15, and we were in the mall, and this guy came up to us holding this really cute little puppy, and, like, um, I was like, Mom, that dog is so cute. And he just came up to us, and he goes, it's for sale. You want it? And so I absolutely begged my mom, and, um, that was, I think, that was one of the first things that I ever spent any of my songwriting money on was this little creature. Um, so we have a little, we have Bug. Dad has the cat now. She's, my cat is very, um, she's got a sort of an attitude. Like she's, she's happy sometimes and she's really clingy sometimes, but then sometimes she's just really cranky. And I think that's one of those times. So you'll hear her meowing nonstop. And, oh, it's animal show off time. You guys ready? This is the cat that I talk to when I'm lonely and uh, when I'm bored or when I'm happy, you know. And so, her name is Indy and that, that's Bug. I don't know if I introduced them to you. And now the dog is trying to get to the cat and it's just <laughs> typical. Um, <laughs> do I have a boyfriend? No, and I'm, and I'm happy and it's good and it's like I've got a lot of awesome friends and I got to go to the CMAs last night and it's been really busy. Um, Say hi to Carrie. I will say hi to Carrie for you. Um, what's my favorite holiday? Um, my favorite holiday is... Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was just the, the, the dog ran after the cat and kind of... My favorite holiday is Christmas. Um, Christmas is great, but also Thanksgiving is fun because, like... Um, you get to see your family, and um, my family's really, really loud, and they've all got this signature laugh, 
all the women are really, really loud, and the animals are fighting. Um, college, you know, I always thought I was going to go to college. I, that's what I thought I was going to do after high school. I mean, honestly, my, my parents both went to college. They both went into business, and that's what they did. Um, so all my life, I thought I was going to go to college. But um, things happened, and I ended up getting to pursue a crazy dream, and it ended up kind of working out. So I think that, you know, the way I look at college is it's – it's a way to make yourself a well-rounded person and you go to college so you can figure out how to live on your own and, and be independent and you know get marketing skills networking skills social skills all these things that make you who you are and you, you learn a lot of lessons in class but most of the lessons lessons you learn are just life lessons um, so I think that that's very valuable and I'd love to take classes later on in life but I can't take four years off of doing this because people will absolutely forget that I ever existed and it's just okay breathe is your favorite thank you I'm so glad you like that song I wrote that with Colby Calais and she is absolutely amazing and so sweet when um when I got her album I I called up her management company and I was like can I please write with her I really really want to write with her um and so she had a show in Nashville and I made sure I had the day off and went in and brought her this idea and she liked it and we wrote it and I'm so happy to have her voice on my, my album too. <laughs> Hi Dakota and Sammy. Um, what made me decide to write Change? Um, I wrote the song Change about being on a small record label. A lot of the times I didn't, I didn't realize before getting into the music industry that being on a small record label you were going to have to work harder to get certain things in the beginning like you know getting on tours getting on major tours and you know getting presenter slots or performer slots at award shows you have to work harder if you're on a small record label because there's no pulling favors there's none of that so in the beginning of my career I just felt a lot of frustration like are we ever are we ever gonna have a fighting chance is this ever gonna work out for us and I finished the song the uh, the night I won the CMA Horizon Award last year. So it it was one of the best nights of my life when that happened. What's the story behind should have said no? Hmm. Um, well, it's kind of it's kind of self-explanatory. I was dating a guy who um, cheated on me, and um, that's never fun. And I decided to write a song about it. You know, it just it was a situation when he realized he had made a mistake, and he came back thinking that we would be fine again. And um, there's there was no way that that could happen um, because once you go there, you, you just once you break it, it's broken. And um, I spelled his name out in the lyrics of the first album, and he has been tracked down on MySpace, and, <laughs> and it, you know, we don't, um, you're the nicest person ever. Thank you. Thanks. It's moving really fast. Where's my favorite place to shop? Um, I really like Forever 21, and I like finding things at Target that, people would never guess were from Target because I think they, they have some really cute stuff like I've gotten a lot of stuff from Walmart and Target that people would think were like you know designer stuff and, and I just really like the affordable places and my favorite moment in a meet and greet line is when a girl comes up wearing like the cutest sundress and I'm like where did you get that and she'll be like forever 21 it's like, yes I love that I love that it doesn't have to be expensive for it to be really really cute and so I'm, I'm coming out with a line of sundresses for LEI at Walmart next year. I'm really excited. What's my favorite perfume? Right now, my favorite perfume, and um, I completely, completely got the idea from Selena Gomez because um, one time we were hanging out, I was like, what are you wearing? And it's 
um, Escada Moon Sparkle. It smells so good and I love it. Also, but some of my other favorite perfumes are um, Burberry London, but it just it smells really different. I really like it. And ooh, I like meet and greets. Um, someone said, do you enjoy meet and greets? I think they're really fun. I mean, I think that she said it are they, are they awkward or whatever but I think they're really fun because like when I have a concert and I have a meet and greet before like we put on music and we all hang out and we all hug each other and it's like thank you so much for coming I feel like I've made so many friends in meet and greet lines and I just I, sometimes I feel like meet and greet lines are just a chance to catch up with your friends do I still get nervous when I perform on award shows yes um, You've got every single person that you've ever looked up to in the audience, and movie stars, and superstars, and, you know, it's it's a nerve-wracking thing, but you just have to focus on being alright, and, and just rolling with it, and realizing that you play shows every night, and this should be no different. Where do I get my cowboy boots? I get them different places. Um, sometimes I'll get them just at random stores. There was one store where I got some boots that I love that are Ariat boots, um, and I got them at the airport store. So it's like whenever I find any boots that I think are really, really cute, then I'll, I'll get them. But um, there, there are these knee-length boots that I just got that are black that I love for winter time. So I, I'm sure I'll be wearing those a lot. I'm looking at number six. Um, oh. Singing with Def Leppard was unbelievable. They were so down to earth and so cool. And, um, you know, you'd think that, that since they'd sold 50 bazillion records that, um, that they would be a little diva-ish or something, but they weren't. They were so nice. And they, I remember I walked up to Joe Elliott and I said, you know, can I sing this one line in your song? And he was like, you can sing whatever you want. I've been singing these songs for 25 years. I could use a break. Um, so that was really, really cool. Next question. Shout out to Caitlin. Hey, girl. Um, TRL is going to be really fun. I'm going to be on the last episode of TRL, and I can't believe that it's not going to be on anymore, but being on the last episode of TRL is going to be really, really cool, and the fact that they've included me so much in the show, being that I'm a country artist, has been really wonderful, so I can't wait to see who else is going to be on. How many guitars do I have? I have a few. I I only play my favorites, um, and my favorite, my favorite is the sparkly one that's in the R song video, and the Koa, um, like wood grain guitar that I play a lot of the time too. So I have about six of them though. I have 12 strings and six strings, and I have a ukulele that I got in Hawaii. Am I afraid of spiders? I try not to be afraid of spiders, um, you know, but there was this one time when we were filming a love story video, and we were riding back from that scene in the field where we run across to, the, to each other, and we were riding back from that scene, and we'd been running through the field all day long, so there were lots of opportunities for spiders to crawl into my dress, and I was, I was sitting there in the car, and I looked down, and there is this massive spider on my dress and I just started screaming bloody murder and so I'm afraid of things that surprise me that's what I'm I'm afraid of like we were in the elevator last night um, after the CMA Awards and this woman like this woman was going to leave the elevator and it came and almost crushed her 
Like, you know how they're supposed to sense that there's a person in, in the doorway, and they're supposed to, like, if they start to close, they're supposed to stop and then go like this? Like, it was going to kill her. And I was so scared. I started screaming, and I pulled her back through. We were all freaking out, and I just, whenever I get scared, I just scream. How many, how many dresses do I have? Guys, dresses are my weakness. Like, some people have a weakness for shoes. Some people have a weakness for cars or jewelry. Like, my weakness is dresses and I absolutely when I see a cute dress in a store I have to buy it um, not if it's like overly expensive though but like if I see a really really cute black dress or a white dress or any kind of dress I probably have hundreds of dresses um, but do I like cool whip yes <laughs> I blogged about that one time, you know, and I was just walking around my, my kitchen thinking of things to eat, and I think that was the only thing that we had that, that I could possibly eat. I was like total grazing. What kind of ice cream do I like? Um, it changes all the time. Like, I'm kind of into frozen yogurt right now, um, but my favorite kind of ice cream is cookie dough. I'm probably going to go to the grocery store and like get some of that right now, like afterward. But I'm really, really into either vanilla ice cream with little mini M&Ms on top. That's always fun. And I really like that stuff, that shell stuff that you pour on top of it and it hardens because it's like interactive food, you know. You can like have control over it. What's the story behind You Belong With Me? The song on the album You Belong With Me is um, about a guy who had this girlfriend that always yelled at him and she was always mean to him. And um, I just remember walking by him, he was one of my friends, and walking by and hearing him on the phone going, baby, no, no, I swear baby, no, no, I wasn't talking to anybody else. No, I love you. No, 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 no. I, no, I just had to go. I love you so much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. And I was just like, oh, man. And uh, so I got immediately, the line popped into my head, you're on the phone with your girlfriend. She's upset. She's going off about something that you said. That was the first line that came to me about that song. And so um, Liz, my co-writer, I just came to her and I was like, look, we've got to write this song. This is a song we need to write. And um, it's about, you know, loving somebody who doesn't see you and doesn't realize that you know all about them and could be good for them. Um, but I guess that's, that's the, the hard part about it all. Hi to Vivian and Michelle. Do I like Hollister and American Eagle? Yeah, I do. Definitely. American Eagle especially. Like, their stuff is really, really cool. And Hollister, um, I like how when you buy something from there, it always smells good. <laughs> like, when you buy their t-shirts and stuff. Like, their t-shirts are great. I like that. And I'm like, I'm into sweaters now because it's winter time. So, when it's a certain season, I want to go all out for that season. When it's cold, I'm really into sweaters. And when it's hot, I'm really into sundresses. So, I think we should embrace the season. Um... So the sweaters from American Eagle are really cute. Also, I'm really into plaid right now. I think plaid is awesome, and it's like it's completely made a comeback. I like those button-up shirts, those plaid button-up shirts, and I had a plaid dress that I was going to wear, but it was really tight, so I didn't wear it. What's my favorite movie? Love Actually is my favorite movie because, and if you haven't seen it, you should. It's called Love Actually, and it's the cutest love movie ever. It's, um, it's all these stories intertwined and stories about different people being in love and um, falling out of love, falling in love, meeting each other. It's just beautiful. And it all takes place around Christmas time, so it's perfect to watch this time of year. You like my couch? Thank you. You love cookie dough? I do too. That's my best friend Abigail and I. That's like our favorite thing to eat. And um, we just sit there and, and eat cookie dough. 
What kind of coffee do I like? I love Starbucks, so I go there all the time. And um, it depends on if it's a hot or cold day, but um, I I like the pumpkin spice lattes for if it's a really cold day and I want something hot. And I'll get like one sweet and low in that to make it sweeter. And I also like for if it's sort of a hotter day and I want something cold, I'll get, and you should try this because it's good, I'll get like a iced caramel latte with one sweet and low. And it's really good. And also I love pumpkin loaf from, from Starbucks. And sometimes they have it and sometimes they don't, but when they have it, it's really good. And um, when, when I was at the CMAs yesterday, um, my manager knocked on the door and said, Miley got this for you at Starbucks. And she said that you had to try it. And it was a white chocolate mocha and it was really, really good. Can I grab the cat and put it up to the camera? I will, I will try to find her and, and get her to make a cameo really quick. But um, how do I... How do I stay in such great shape? Um, I don't work out. I I play shows all the time, and so that's I guess that's cardio. And I run sometimes, um, but it's so. And sometimes it's really hard to make, motivate myself to to work out. But I mean, after after you exercise, you feel really good. But um, right now, I'm kind of taking advantage of my metabolism. I eat healthy though. I mean, I've been eating really healthy lately, and um, you know, if if I feel like I just need to feel healthier. I'll just drink water instead of like, instead of all the sodas and stuff. I keep all the scrapbooks. I love the scrapbooks that you guys make me. I, they're so wonderful. And the pillows and the quilts with pictures and stuff, like that means the world to me. And the fact that you guys are there for me and have my back and are so supportive of me, that's it's absolutely everything to me and you guys are what cheer me up if I ever have bad days and you guys are so there for me it just it makes me smile so thank you hi Justine have I ever been surfing yes actually I um, I tried surfing a lot when I was in New Jersey I used to go there on um, summer vacation so I used to surf there and there was this really cute um, neighbor that I had that surfed and so I like was really into surfing for a little while ooh the dog just spilled water and we will probably get electrocuted because that's on a wire um so that's good um do I like being homeschooled? Well, I'm not homeschooled anymore because I graduated. Yes. Um, but I, it took a lot of discipline because you're not, you're not, you know, in a class. There's nothing to entertain you. You just have to do the work. And so um, hats off to people who are homeschooled because it takes a lot of discipline. What's my favorite thing for breakfast? Right now, I love Cracker Barrel breakfast. I had it today, and I like scrambled eggs and um, and um, sausage and biscuits with apple butter. It's really, really good, and orange juice. Do I have anything like OCD? No, I'm just really detail oriented. Like I really liked my room to be neat. Um, I'm not as much of a clean freak. Like I'm not like scrubbing things and washing things all the time. But I'm a neat freak. Like I like I like to have things neat and um, things like that. So. What do I like to do when I hang out with friends? I like to do normal things and. Um, like drive around and you know go out to eat and think of random things to do and take pictures and make videos and things like that I love making videos I'm actually working on a new one for my MySpace and um, it's gonna be about all the things that I've done this album release week it's been I swear it's been the craziest week of my life I I don't even it was it's so crazy I've been a million different places and done all these interviews and I can't wait to show it to you. What program do I use to make videos? I use iMovie, just standard iMovie on my laptop. So, um, 
Brad Paisley taught me how to use it. Hey, Karen, Kelly. Aww. Sarah says she likes the best day. Thank you so much. Um, that's that's a song that I wrote about my mom, and I didn't tell her that I wrote it, and I just I recorded it secretly, and didn't tell her anything. And for Christmas, I I synced it up with all these home videos of mine from when I was a little kid, and um, I played it, the DVD for her on Christmas Eve, and she bawled her eyes out. And um, I'm so glad you like that song because it's it. My mom has been the best friend that I've ever had, so it's it's really cool to have that immortalized in a song. Ooh, it's moving fast. About my next performance. Well, you know, for award performances, I start thinking about that stuff months in advance. Like, like when you see me do a performance on an award show, or you see an artist do a performance on an award show, a lot of times, if it's really different, um, the artist has thought of that. Like, the reason why Sugarland's performances on CMA award shows are so different is because they think of it. And, you know, the, the ACM performance that I did underneath all the rain, that was something that I came up with in middle school. And um, this idea for love story, for all the things that happened in that performance, completely just wanted it to be that way. And so um, it all depends on what single is out. Usually you play your single or, you know, sometimes you pull a song from left field. But usually you stick to what's your single then or you unveil a new single. Um, so my next, the next country award show is going to be the ACMs. The next award show is going to be the AMAs. And they kind of make me keep it a secret which song I'm playing on the AMAs, but I hope you like it. Ooh. What inspired White Horse? Um, White Horse is about the that first letdown when you realize that somebody isn't who you thought they were and that they're not going to end up being your future, they're going to end up being your past, you know? Um, the entire relationship, you go through the relationship thinking this person is absolutely everything I want, this person is my future, this is who I want to be with. And then, then there's that one point where it hits you that that person isn't who you're going to be with. and everything from that point on is is usually downhill and so I wrote the song White Horse about that exact moment where it hits you and the first line that I came up with for that song was stupid girl you should have known you should have known and um, I'm really excited that you guys have made it number one on iTunes thank you it's number one all genres on iTunes and I can't believe it I just Hi, Hannah and Emma. Uh, do I play sports? I try. I will try anything. I'm, I'm not that girl that's like, I hate sports. I, I just don't like them at all. But I mean, I'm not that good at them. You know, you kind of... It's awesome to, you're more of a fan of something if you can actually do it. You know, I am terrible at sports, you know, I, but I'll try anything. I'll go golfing, I'll play soccer, I'll, I'll play baseball, I'll play softball, I'll play football. I don't, I'll try anything. I will be very bad at it, but I'll try anything. Do I play Nintendo? Um, I'm more I'm more of a Nintendo 64 girl, actually. Um, I used to play Nintendo when I was younger, and so I kind of got used to that controller, like the old ghetto one, like the the really retro, the Nintendo 64 one. And I kind of got a lot into that, like the Mario Kart and stuff like that. So 
I'm not as much like well versed with Nintendo Wii or anything, but I probably need to learn because everyone says it's awesome. Kelly last night played the song The Best Days of Your Life, and um, we wrote that song together, actually. That song was a late night girl venting session, um, because she walked on my tour bus when we were on tour together, and she was like, I can't believe my ex-boyfriend did this and that and that and that, and I was like, Kelly, let's go back in the bus, and we're going to fix this. We're going to write a song about it, and um, so basically, that song tells a pretty accurate story of what she was feeling at that moment and it's fun because um, I love how she sings it and I loved her performance last night. She was really good. Did I meet Abigail before all of this happened or after? I met Abigail before any of this stuff started happening. I mean, I met her in ninth grade when we were sitting there and I remember Romeo and Juliet, the movie, was what um, we were watching at the time, and we were studying that whole story. And um, we were, we would, you know, sit there in the back and like make sarcastic comments and um, talk about Napoleon Dynamite, and um, <laughs> and that's that's how we bonded. We became really, really, really good friends over that, and it just has been, we've been best friends ever since. Through thick and thin, through everything that's happened, I, you know, she knows every story of mine, I know every story of hers, and we may be really far apart, but it doesn't, doesn't change anything. The story behind the way I loved you. I wrote that song with John Rich from Big and Rich, and um, I've always wanted to write a song with him because he's so great. He's written so many amazing songs, and so I was always thinking that you know if we were to get into a room, it would either be really really awesome or it would be a total train wreck because he's he's known as being a very opinionated songwriter, and I'm pretty opinionated too whenever I'm writing songs. Um, and so we got in a room together, and I, I brought him this idea, and I said, you know. There's always that feeling, you know, when if someone's a little bit too robotically, practically perfect, you know, when you, the song's about dating that guy who opens up the door for you and compliments how you look tonight and is polite to your parents and is so politically correct that it's almost nauseating. And, you know, it's so comfortable and so right that you miss the relationship you had before that was actually that you felt, that had feeling, and it was, it was real, you know? What's my favorite actor? I have a lot of favorite actors. I like, um, Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman are absolutely my favorite, and I love Chase Crawford. Um, I watch Gossip Girl, so love Chase Crawford. Playing at the World Series was really, really fun. Um, it was a blast, actually, because my home team, the Phillies, won the World Series, and I got to watch it. It was wonderful because everyone was crying, and um, my dad and I sat there and watched them win the final game on TV. And I'm so glad that he came in and turned the channel to that because seeing that was wonderful because just being from around Philadelphia and never seeing anything like that happen, it was just crazy. Happy birthday, Bridget. Ah, where'd it go? What's my favorite fruit? Um, <laughs> My favorite fruit is um, probably bananas or um, apples are good. Apples are really good when you dip them in caramel. Really good. 
and strawberries if you dip them in Cool Whip. But I guess my favorite fruit by itself would be bananas. I do have my driver's license. I love driving. And um, I love driving big cars or small cars or whatever. Like sometimes I just borrow my parents' car and, um, you know, to drive something big because it's fun. Um, and I really love driving. Like I'm always the one to be like, I I'll drive, I'll drive. Um, so that's fun. I went and it took me a couple tries to get my permit. Your permit is hard to get. Um, when I was 15, they make you take this written test. And it's like you're so stressed out about it that you... You might know the right answer, and you would know the answer if you were driving down the road at the time, but when they're asking you on a, you know, a test or whatever, you're just not going to know. So it was really hard for me to get my permit. I think I, I think I went like three different times and failed the test by like one question and then cried. So, yeah. Uh, but I did get my license first try, and um, I've been driving ever since, ever since I was 16. So... I'm really lucky that I got to do all that normal stuff and drive around and have my freshman and sophomore year of high school before I went on tour. Oh, you gave me the Razorback shirt that I wore. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you for complimenting. Um, Thank you for complimenting my homemade videos because those are really fun to make and I love doing it. I love editing videos and putting them up on MySpace and like I'll always put a song in the background but it's never one of mine. It's always like one of my favorite songs at the moment. So I'm probably going to have another one up by the end of the week but I'm still working on it. It's been really, really busy so... I've been playing guitar since I was 12, and I started playing guitar a really in interesting way. I was, um, I was having some guy come to fix the computer, and because my computer was broken, and I had my guitar sitting in the corner of the room, and this guy came over, and he was fixing the computer, and he looked over at the guitar and he said, "Do you play guitar?" And I said, "No, I tried, but I don't." And he said, "Well." Do you want to want to learn some chords? And so he taught me three chords. He he taught me G, D, and C. And I wrote my first song that night. And then he came back the next week and taught me three more chords. Came back the next week and taught me three more. And that's how I learned guitar. You know, it's just it just takes somebody kind of um, nudging you a little bit sometimes. What's my favorite candy? Um. I really, really like, right now is my favorite candy, um, I like Milky Ways a lot, and um, Hershey bars are always good, and, but we went, oh my gosh, we went on the, the Brad Paisley Hershey Bonfires and Amplifiers tour, so we have like 400,000 Hershey bars left over from that tour, it's crazy. I love s'mores, you know how, like, s'mores are so awesome, that's what I miss about that tour. Because they always had s'mores there because they're Hershey and that's like the best thing ever. They practically invented them. Um, they would always be passing them out to fans going into the concerts. And it was amazing because Kelly and I would always steal them as they were like making them. And <laughs> I haven't had s'mores in forever and I miss them. Do I like acting? I like acting a lot and I have some friends that are actors. And what they do isn't easy, you know. It's just... It's not as much my passion as music. I think it would take a really, really awesome role to distract me from music. You know, if it was something on Grey's Anatomy or CSI, I would just, I would play a corpse. I don't care. I would play anything on those shows because I love them that much. What's the name of the song that I did for my latest MySpace video? Um, I think the one you're talking about is Catch My Disease by Ben Lee. I love that song. Um, talking about the publishing deal that I got when I was 14. Um, I came to Nashville when I was 13 and got a, um, a demo record deal. 
because I had been trying for so many years and I had been performing anywhere I could and knocking on doors and writing songs and um, so I walked in with my guitar into the record label. We had set up an appointment because I had met some people who had, you know, set it up for me. And I sat down and I played a bunch of songs. So that's how I got um, a record deal when I was 13. That, uh, that eventually ended up falling through and I ended up getting signed to another company, Big Machine Records, which is my current record label. Um, but in between that time, I went to all the publishing companies and set up meetings because those are the ones that are in charge of your songwriting and the songs and pitching to other artists and um, basically a lot to do with your songwriting. So I walked in and, and just played my music for these people. That's how, that's how I got a lot of um, you know, the record deal and the publishing deal is just walking in with my guitar, opening up the case, pulling it out and playing. What size shoe do I wear? I wear either an eight and a half or a nine because I'm so tall that if I had smaller feet, I would probably just tip over. Um, and that's the number one comment that that's the number one comment that I get when people meet me is they're like, "You're really tall." <clears throat> Orange juice or cranberry juice? Orange juice all the way, but grape juice trumps all, I think. <coughs> How did I meet my band? Um, you meet them different places. Like sometimes, you know, you can have auditions in Nashville. There are so many talented players in Nashville, and they'll they'll come and and try out. And um, you go through different people, and you figure out what works and what doesn't. Like Al, my drummer, has been there the whole time, and um, we were on the George Strait tour. And my guitar player Brian. Um, left to go play with Keith Urban. So he plays with Keith Urban now, so we had to hold another audition for a guitar player, and that's how we met Grant. And um, so we've had Grant for a while. And Amos is the bass player because our old bass player, Jeff, left to have a baby. And um, so we got Amos, who is the most hilarious person on the planet. And Caitlin is just wonderful. She plays fiddle and sings background vocals. Ben I've had for a very long time. And he plays banjo and mandolin and dobro and everything. And he's so talented. And Paul's our newest. He's the other guitar player. And Paul's a princess, and we love him. Can my brother sing? Um, I think he can, but I don't think he likes to. Like, he's very talented, and he's... Um, I hear him singing all the time, and it's great, but he doesn't like to sing in front of people. Like, my brother... Um, he just had a growth spurt, and he grew to be like 6'2 in about four seconds. So one day he was like, one day he was like five foot two, and then the next day he's six foot two, and we're all like, "Whoa, hey Austin, what's up? You're really tall now." Um, so he likes to play lacrosse, and he likes to study a lot. Like I asked him to be my date to the CMA awards, and he was like, Psh, "No, I got homework." Was I popular in high school? No. Because the new thing is to not be popular. And I think that that's cooler than being popular because, I mean, honestly, all of the successful people that I've met were not popular in high school. I've not met one successful person that was popular in high school. It's weird. I mean, it's kind of like a badge of honor once you graduate from high school to say that you weren't cool in high school. I mean, with all the people that I've met, they're all like, it's not important to be popular in high school. And when you're in it, it's tragedy if you're not popular. I know because I was in it. And um, my best friend Abigail and I were the weird ones. And we talked about Napoleon Dynamite. And, you know, all the other girls are, like, putting on their lip gloss. And they're like, oh, they're so weird. But you know what? I'm glad that I wasn't popular because I think that it makes you appreciate it more when you do have friends. <clears throat> Did I go to prom? Um, did I go to prom? I um, I did go to prom, actually, and I was really happy about that. I went my freshman year, and I went with a boy who I was dating. And um, so I got to experience it two different ways. I got to go with a boy who I was dating, and then that, my next year for my sophomore year, I went, got to go with a friend. So I got to experience it two different ways, and it's fun either way, but it's, I felt like it was a little bit less stressful when you go with a friend. 
so. And then I also went to prom on the MTV special with Wit from Alabama. That was fun. That was this year. You're a genius. You're like God. You're just way more beautiful. I think I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I was so excited to vote this year. This was my first year being able to vote, and I waited in line for an hour and a half. And honestly, I can't, I can't say enough how amazing and important it is to vote. Because you wait in line, and it, and it takes a long time, and it takes almost, sometimes it can take an entire day of your time. But it's so worth it. And after I got finished voting, I was just so excited about it. Hey, Emily. Twilight. I haven't read Twilight, but my best friend Abigail has read it, and she said it's the most amazing thing on the planet. So I need to get on that right now, and probably before the movie comes out, because you always want to kind of read it before you see it, but I heard it's going to be awesome. Hi, Riley. Oh, this on my album. This is a heart, and um, a lot of the, the girls that would come to my concerts would do this sometimes when they were out in the crowd, and I would look out and I'd see it, and it, it just was the sweetest thing on the planet. I just, it looks really, really wonderful and sweet when someone does that. Um, and so when I was doing my album photo shoot, I just did one picture, a few pictures like this, and they took the single shot of my hands and they put it on the CD. Um, and that was sort of an idea that I had because I wanted it to be one of the main focuses of the album because this is love and love is what I like to write songs about. So I wanted that to be on the, on the album, the physical CD. A UK tour, I'm doing that in January, so I'm really excited about going back over there. And Australia is right after that, so I'll be seeing both of you guys. What's the best gift that um, I've ever been given by a fan? I've been given a lot of really, really cool gifts by fans, but one of my favorites was this, be this bedazzled Sharpie. It was a girl who glued all of these um, rhinestones onto a Sharpie and gave it to me. And I use Sharpies so much. I never realized until she gave it to me how many times a day I use a Sharpie. So that was a really cool gift. Also, um, girls have made quilts with their pictures and, and, and pictures of us on them and pillows and wonderful things like that. I love the scrapbooks too. Am I going to be on the Cosmo Girl cover? Yes! The December issue! And I'm excited about that because December is my favorite month because my Christmas, because Christmas and my birthday are both in December. And I turn 19 December 13th. So that's going to be really, really fun. Um, and so the Cosmo Girl cover, it was a really fun shoot. We shot it in New York City and in Central Park and, you know, standing in the middle of the street, and it, the theme of the shoot was little black dresses, which you guys know I'm obsessed with little black dresses. So it was really fun for me, and I had a total blast, and we just played music and danced, and it was a really, really fun day. Yes, I love Alabama. What kind of laptop do I have? I have a Mac. Um, and it works really well for my video editing and for like iChat and video chat and stuff like that. That's how I keep in touch with my friends who are in different places. Um, I have a lot of friends that live a, a bunch of different places. Um, who are my favorite actresses slash friends? Um, I'm friends with a lot of girls that are actresses and, um, Miley's one of my friends, Selena, and I have gotten so close, and I talk to her every day. Um, also love Emma Stone, is my girl. She's awesome. And who else, who else, who else? 
and go to my top three. What brand of eyeliner do I use? Um, sometimes I use MAC and it's um it's called gel liner and it comes in a little thing like this and you it comes in like a little container and you yeah and it's black and you get it with a brush that's angled and it's really easy to apply that way because for some reason I found that's the easiest most foolproof eyeliner um, but eyeliner can be really great even the stuff that you get at the drugstore like um, if you just if you apply it right um, so Am I excited about performing in Houston? Yes, because my mom's from Houston, and a lot of my family's from Houston, and I absolutely love it in Texas. It's just always a good time whenever we play there, so I can't wait to get back. Would I ever go to a college and sing? Uh, yes, because the first two years of my touring, that's pretty much where I headlined. You know, all my headlining shows were, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 people. That was, that was at colleges, and I'll never forget that. So that was a blast. And you know, Kenny Chesney went back and did a college tour, and I think that was a really, really cool move. How do I get my hair like I'm wearing it? I'll tell you a little secret. I did not change it from what it was doing last night after the CMAs. I absolutely came home and fell asleep right away and woke up and didn't do anything to it. So, um, my hairstylist, Sandy Spica, um, there are 400,000 bobby pins in my head right now, and it's like still, it's a little looser than it was last night because it's got, you know, a day's worth of wear on it, but. My favorite color right now is purple, and so I'm drawn to anything purple. I'm drawn to like purple dresses or purple. I got these purple jeans the other day, and they're awesome. So things like that. And also, oh yeah, my favorite kind of T-shirt is um, American Apparel. They have these these V-necks that are really great, and I love them. My band, they all wear them. Everyone I know is like obsessed with them, and they're. They're pretty inexpensive too, so it's really cool. I love those t-shirts. How am I so tall? I don't know. I think it's just genetics. Hi, Megan and Molly, and Jackie and Nikki and Maria. How did I come up with the song, Our Song? Well, it was my freshman year, and um, I knew that I had to, I, there was a talent show coming up, and I wanted to write a song where people could would clap their hands to it. You know, I wanted something really up-tempo, upbeat, and nobody in my school had ever heard me sing, so it was like, it was a lot of pressure. And so I, I wrote this song, and I wrote it about the guy that I was dating at the time. And um, so during the talent show, I just walked out, plugged in my guitar, and played, and the whole school loved it. And that's pretty much why I decided that I wanted it on the album so bad, is because people were coming up to me months later and saying, um, I love that song, our song, and they would sing back lines to me, and I was like, Will I come back up to Canada? Yes. I love Canada. It's awesome.
Thank you for saying I'm real. That's really nice. Thank you so much. I mean, I think that I think that you have to just you have to stay the same person. You just have to know that you have a different schedule, and that should be the only thing that changes about your life. Um, and you go to award shows, and you get to play concerts, and you get to travel a lot more, but you still you still have to stay the same person. And thank you for saying that. That's really cool. If I was going to go to college, I would want to do a bunch of different things, and I think that it's because um, my passion is music, so I'm getting to do my ultimate passion, but if I were to pick something else, I think that I would want to be a music video director, or possibly, um, possibly like in advertising, creative advertising, like I really like to create ads, and sometimes in my head I create commercials for products, it's really weird, I know, but I think that that would be something that I would like to do. What cheers me up when I'm sad, that, and I'm being completely honest right now, when I'm having a bad day, my mom comes up to me and she goes, you know what you need to do, right? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, go on your MySpace and read everything. Read, read your messages and read your comments. Read it all because that will make you feel better. And that absolutely makes me feel better because you guys are so nice to me. Thank you. Um, and when I'm having a bad day, you know when you're having a bad day, you feel like everybody – Everybody's saying mean things, everybody's criticizing you, everybody thinks that, you know, is thinking negative things. And that's only when you're in that moment. That's what you have to realize. It's just that moment, and it's going to pass, and you're going to feel good again. And um, usually the thing that brings me out of it is going to my MySpace. I have to go? They're saying I have to go, and I absolutely love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on here and asking such wonderful questions. And honestly, it means the world to me that you guys went out and bought the CD, you know, when it first came out. And if you haven't, then I would love it if you would check it out because I'm so proud of it. And um, I love you guys so much for being there for me, for showing up at the concerts, for waiting in line in the meet and greet lines, and for the messages and comments on MySpace. I absolutely could not do this without you, and I'll always remember that. Thank you so much.